Hello and welcome back to On Location here. Today I'm at Rebert Pike Nature Park. It is an 85 acre park uh, with about four miles or so of trail. Um, I believe there's some continuous improvements as they you know, add on to the park here. Um, but it features a boardwalk and observation deck as it meanders through Mill Creek. And it has a variety of different habitat like you know, various streams, uh, there's some prairie meadow and some rolling hillsides and dales over here as I can see. And there's also some, some woodland trail uh, right behind me over here. Um, so I'm going to be here for the morning and I'm going to try out some wildlife photography, um, probably mainly bird photography. Um, but as I say that, there's at least two deer uh, right over here. They actually were on the middle of the, uh, the drive as I was coming into the park here. And now I'm just seeing them situate off to the side here. And so, yeah, but they already fully have my attention and uh, that means I probably can't get a shot close enough of them, you know, because I really just haven't caught them by surprise, I guess. But they seem very, very curious because they keep pulling in and out of these like wood, uh, this tree line over here. I'm not sure if you can see them, but they're pretty far away. But I mean, yeah, they're just curiously looking at me while running away. They're, they're very skittish, though. So they're very, these individuals in, in particular, at least. But um, so, like I said, yeah, I'm going to be I'm probably doing some birding mainly today. Um, the lighting is very overcast and pleasant, but there is some, you know, blue sky that's kind of pulling through the clouds a little bit more. That lets in a lot more light, which is going to be nice as I'm shooting handheld uh, with my telephoto lens here. And so already, there's tons of different crows around, as I can hear. Um, I've already seen a dozen of them flying over. Um, so far I've heard a blue jay, a uh, white-breasted nuthatch over in the woodland here. I'm um, not surprised by, of course. Um, and there's a downy woodpecker right over here, um, over top of this uh, trailhead marker. So I'm going to go ahead and check out this trail marker. Like I said, it's a pretty small park, um, and there's only a couple miles. But, you know, I'm the only one here for the morning, and it's really cold and frigid morning. And uh, But I'm still looking forward to it all the same. Um, this is my first visit. And it's one I've been looking forward to for a long time now because I actually originally meant to do this location um, with my first, my season one of On Location, but never got around to it. Um, so it's nice to finally get to this location um, after basically all this time. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Um, yeah, there's, there's any, honestly, there's any direction I can go. I could go over this way. I could always go towards the hills and the prairie and meadow over here. There's the boardwalk, it looks like. And then there's the woodland. So. From the parking lot here, I mean, I got a lot of options, which is pretty cool, but, um, and plenty of time to do all of them. So, you know, this should be a nice, you know, nice visit and uh, hopefully get some good shots, maybe of wildlife today, or uh, maybe anything for that matter. So let's go ahead and get started here. So I remember upon doing my park research here, I'm um, just searching online for uh, photos or any other information or facts I need to know or uh, should know before I visit the location. And I noticed there's a few like uh, points of interest, we'll call them, of uh, different kinds of wildlife and everything, such as owls or uh, coyote, I think, and fox. Um, so I'm hoping I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, you think I could see an owl? I don't know. We could we could dream, right? But it looks like a great horned owl um, on this little sign marker, this little trail thing. So, it's like, this is up this way, so I'm going to go ahead and check it out, you know, keep my eyes and ears peeled, but more so eyes, I think, and as I look up, actually, what's that? Can't tell what that is. Can't tell if that's leaves or a bird, larger bird. I did just see a hawk a little bit ago. Um, I believe it was a red-tailed, it might have been red-shouldered, it was hard to tell, um, just with the lighting, it was kind of like silhouetted, um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and Mosey on about here. I'm probably gonna try to be real quiet so I can actually like maybe even find it. I don't know. We'll see. But so far it's just been lots of songbirds. Um, nothing too crazy or out of the ordinary, which I'm not surprised by. Um, right now it's... <laughs> there's a couple bird calls actually, which is pretty neat. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna keep going here along this trail. Um, I've entered the woodland if you can't already tell. And um, so far this place is. Uh, been pretty quiet actually uh, once I hit the woods I mean it was just like non-existent there wasn't really much of a peep of her sound uh, from the birds at least um, there's a couple of robins way up on you know up on the highest treetops um, and they're all just big old puffed up and everything trying to stay warm uh, so not a lot of activity uh, not a lot of collecting food or uh, eating I guess but plus it's not nesting season of course too but yeah um, I'm out at this power line clearing Looks like it's been recently cut down and mowed down or whatever. And it goes straight out there. Um, 
I could walk the length of it. I'm seeing some birds over there. They look like really dark in plumage, like maybe crows or something. Um, I doubt it. it would be turkey vultures. It's pretty much too late for those this time of year. Um, but I'm going to keep going, I guess, along here and uh, see where it takes me. But the trails are not you know, too hard to follow. Like It's easy to tell for the most part what a trail is and what's not uh, just by how cleared out it is, which they have been so far, which is great. Um, but it's they're not really laid out that well like in terms of like color coding or um, they have names I guess but I don't feel like I feel like names for trails are just not really um, the best thing to do <laughs> so yeah like I'm on the monarch butterfly trail it's just kind of weird so um, anyways just saw a bird drop down to the ground I can't tell where it is but so I'm basically gonna wander around but like I said fortunately the park isn't terribly big so I don't really mind just kind of wandering and seeing where it takes me until I do all the trails, of course. And then, you know, if I feel successful, call it a day. If not, I'll keep doing some more loops and see, you know, how long, however long it takes really to get a shot. So um, that's really what I'm after here. Um, so I will see you guys in a little bit as I keep going here. So I'm doing a little walk here through uh, this big prairie. Um, looks like one half of it's like, cleared up and uh, been mode I guess you know so there's really nothing there it's just scooped up kind of like uh, dried up dirt I guess but on this other half it has some just you know some shrubs and other kind of uh, both native and invasive plants like teasel and everything um, but nothing to really write home about at least right now um, there was a cardinal situated over on this side um, just very conspicuously uh, perched on part of one of these trees these small, like little small shrubby trees and that flew over here to the green rain all near the berries over here, which could be a nice food source for a lot of birds um, this time of year, of course, because winter is pretty scarce, obviously. Um, so, but uh, yeah, so far, not too much else. Lots of crows over here at the tree line um, where the woodland takes me. Um, but I got lots of trails still to cover, and um, I'm trying to keep track of where I'm going, my whereabouts. But uh, here's that. There's some even some frozen up uh, parts where it's like some still. Uh, standing water from you know some heavy rains a few days ago even um, when it wasn't quite freezing like it is now um, so this tree right here is pretty nice though it's a pretty nice beautiful color over here and it's very nice um see i got like i came from this way actually i think that way yeah that trail and there's at least one two i think three and then four there's like four different like different trail break offs uh from this spot so i mean like i got lots a lot of stuff I could work with and the sky is actually a nice pleasant blue it's a nice nice but still very diffused light you know so it works out pretty well but anyways I'm gonna keep going here and uh, try not to get too bogged down and you know trying to get a photo at least but you know it would be kind of nice it would it would boost morale I just got total deja vu because now I was going along this the rolling hill portion and I didn't quite figure out where it was until I looked downhill and I saw the shelter right where uh, the drive into the park is so I'm actually a lot closer than I thought to um, being done with here unfortunately I haven't gotten any photos yet so there's still some woodland trail and stuff I want to check out um, and uh, I think there's two bridge crossings I only saw the one I only went over the one that is um, so I think there's just some parts that are missing, just smaller bits of trail that, at that, but um, I'm going to keep going here, and uh, I'm not really done yet, because it, it bothers me because there's so many um, common species of birds that like, like uh, American Crow, Northern Cardinal, that I've never gotten really good frame-filling photos of. Well, some, of the, some of the Cardinals, I guess, but like, um, sometimes, but still, like, especially the Crow, it's like, that's such a common bird year-round here in Ohio but I've never gotten actually any frame filling shot or any shot really at that um, either they're just like eluding the camera because they're so intelligent or I'm just never ready or something so um, yeah I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do here um, probably just keep making loops until something happens I guess you know it's still pretty good light out and uh, so I got the whole park to myself it looks like so it's the best I could do for now um, 
But uh, yeah, I'll just keep going here and see if there's anything I missed, which there no doubt is in terms of trail. And then um, we'll regroup and you know rethink our strategy maybe. Um, you know, I do feel like a, light, a nice landscape, like a sunrise or something over this, the hills over here. That'd be really beautiful, I think. Um, not really quite the right day for it, but you know, that's something to keep in mind maybe for a future visit, which is always nice to, you know, consider for your, you know, kind of like anticipate and excite yourself for maybe a, the next time you come over here. So I'm going to keep going here and I'll talk to you in a little bit. So it's pretty funny right before I was about ready to end this video. Um, I just kept walking along uh, the trail once again, making another loop and just seeing the rest of it. Um, even though I've basically seen it all, I think, by now. But uh, there's a several point buck that's just laying down, like I would say about 15, 20 feet off the side of the trail. And so he was already well, you know, beyond staring at me. And uh, so I just like quickly reacted. Well, not quickly, but you know, I slowly put away, I think I had my phone out or something. And I reached for my telephoto, got it off my uh, camera strap and then just start taking shots a couple of them and it's great because I, I only had to like crouch down just enough to really be eye level um and the camera settings are pretty good it's a little underexposed but i can definitely up that exposure in post-production uh no worries and uh, the best part was that it was already um from where i stopped dead in my tracks um after i noticed it um it was actually perfectly framed um and almost like a triangular shape of uh, tree branches so that's pretty awesome yeah about the most tack sharp uh, photos, I was shooting at about f7.1, um, I think about two hundredth of a second, and ISO 800 because I was in, in a deeper, more shaded part of uh, the trees over here um, as I'm walking along the trail here. Um, but now I'm just going to kind of follow it because it, it, it got up and ran away after a little bit, a couple of minutes of me uh, photographing it. Sorry, I thought I heard it. So I'm gonna go up here a little bit more, see if I can find it, but this might be the best that it gets today, which is pretty awesome though, because I, I don't have very many shots at all of a uh, buck. Um, so, you know, I call this a success <laughs> in of itself, you know, so. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't wanna end the video here now, because now I feel like I'm clinched you in a little bit more, you know, now, now I'm definitely interested in um, perhaps seeing it. So I'm gonna stick around a little bit longer and see if I can find them again. You know, just being real nice and quiet, slow micro movements, and um, yeah, see what happens. Uh, it looks like the clouds are really parting their ways um, all the way over here uh, behind me. Over here, it's still really cloudy, um, which is totally okay, because you can see the sun's starting to peek through, and it's getting to be more uh, partly sunny, I think, um, is my guess, at least for late morning here. Um, I've already been here a couple hours, believe it or not, so. These videos, you know, it's funny when these videos are like 20 minutes long or whatever, and then, you know, I spend hours here just filming and stuff, but anyways, tangents aside, um, I'm going to try and find this buck again, and um, I wonder why I was sitting down. Maybe it was just resting or something. I don't know, because of course they don't allow hunting here because it's like a public park. Um, even the sign as I went in here said that, um, but I guess he's just taking a little rest, but I'm going to keep going here and see if I can find him. If not, um, I'll probably just end the video. Um, because I haven't got much bird activity, um, at least bird, you know, photographs to be had because they're just all the way high up in the treetops um, for whatever reason. Um, save for a couple of sparrows, I will say, that were over in the meadow. Um, and I did get one shot that's okay-ish. You know, it is eye level, which is nice. Um, it's pretty sharp. Alrighty, everyone. Uh, the sun's really starting to peek through in the clouds now, but um, I think I'm going to end the video here um, just because it has been not really the most eventful thing. And uh, I've tried to stick around and, you know, do some loops around the trails here and uh, really see what I can find today in terms of wildlife. Um, and I did get kind of fortunate. You know, I did see a couple birds, uh, namely some woodpeckers, uh, a couple sparrows here. Um, didn't see any coyote, I don't think, but I believe the coyote shows up here and I still need to check it out. 
um, but yeah I think that buck was actually the probably the not only the shot of the day um, which is only average at best because it really wasn't really in focus properly and it only captured really the experience that was the most you know exciting part I guess but um, you know it's gonna be a shot of the day I think for uh, my visit here and uh, overall it's just nice to get a nice hike out here in the morning um, in the cold and you know just by myself and just having the enjoyment of nature and solitude around me thank you so much for watching everyone this has been rebirth hike nature park and until next time make sure to get out here thank you <laughs>